Hello everyone, welcome to Wiki Procedure Info channel. Today we shall see the application procedure for obtaining a family member certificate in Karnataka. The link which I have highlighted now is also provided in the description below. If you click on that, this official web page will be opened. On the top right corner, you can see the select language option. If you click on that, the list of language options for this procedure will be shown. You can choose any desired language as per your convenience. Once you choose any particular language, this entire procedure will be changed into that language. This procedure can either be applied online or applied in person or applied through Narakacheri centers. For applying online, the applicant must click on the link over here. It will lead to the online application page. The official web page will be opened. And if you click on new user register here, a page like this will open. You will have to enter your Radha number and enter the CAPTCHA. Then click on next. You'll get an OTP on your other registered mobile number, which you'll have to again provide for logging in. Then uh, you'll be asked for your email ID, password, phone number. You have to provide all that and click on submit button. Now you can log in by using your email, uh, mobile number and password then capture then click on login provide your mobile number here password type the capture and click on submit once you do that you will be entering the the portal will open something like this here click on apply for services and click on view all available services so now we are looking for family member card family member certificate you can click on the search option, then you enter family member for getting the application for surviving family member or agricultural family member certificate. You can click on the one which applies to you and you will have to provide your details over here like uh, address, applicant details deceased person details and deceased family member details finally enter the verification which is provided here which is the capture and click on submit once it is done the application will be accepted by the officer and the status will be sent to your mobile via sms you can use that for further processing and uh, you can also get the certificate by visiting the office. You can track the application status by clicking on the link over here. It will lead to the page where you, look, you can track your application status by entering your application number. For applying in person, the applicant must uh, reach out to the respective taluk at a Kacheri office in whose jurisdiction the candidate usually resides. The link for the office details is provided over here. If you click on that, the addresses of the Narakan Cherry Center will be provided. You can use that for visiting your respective office. And for getting the Narakan Cherry Center details, the NK addresses are available over here. You can click on next if your area is not available over here. And choose the one which applies to you. Under the required document section, you can find the documents which are needed for this procedure. Completed application form. It can be applied from the Tasildar office and uh, it is usually needed only for in-person applications. Identity documents like PAN number, PAN card, or ration card, ADA card and date of birth certificate like 10th standard mark sheet or uh, birth certificate. Then uh, death certificate of the deceased, proof of residence, 
such as voter card, EB bill, telephone bill, etc. Passport says photographs. A gazette officer attested and duly signed bond paper on Proforma. Under the office location and contacts, you can find the details of the office addresses, email, and contact details of uh, all the offices in Bangalore. And as per the eligibility, wife or husband or son or daughter or mother of a deceased member in a family or eligible to apply for getting a family member certificate. As per the fee, a fee of rupees 15 will be charged. The authorities will be providing further information to the applicant. As per the validity, the validity of the certificate is forever. That's all for this procedure. If you found it informative, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. If you have any queries regarding this procedure, drop your queries down in the comment section below. Thank you.